Good morning, and welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints, Halifax, Nova Scotia, and to our service of morning prayer for Wednesday, April 26, 2023. This place of worship is on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Thank you for joining me today. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For, for since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. The psalm for today is portions of Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me. The grip of the grave took hold of me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray you, save my life. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first epistle of Peter. Peter writes, if you invoke his father, the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through him you have come to trust in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are set on God. Now that you have been purified your souls by your obedience to the truth so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable but of imperishable seed through the living and enduring word of God. Here ends the reading. Today's poem is by a 17th century British poet, Robert Herrick, and it's titled, To His Ever-Loving God. Can I not come to thee, my God, for these so very many meeting hindrances that slack my pace, but yet not make me stay? who slowly goes, rids in the end his way. Clear thou my paths, or shorten thou my miles. Remove the bars, or lift me o'er the stiles. Since rough the way is, help me when I call, and take me up, or else prevent the fall. 
I ken my home and it affords some ease to see far off the smoking villages. Fain would I rest, yet covet not to die for fear of future biting penury. No, no, my God, thou knowest my wishes be to leave this life, not loving it, but thee. The Proclamation of the Law. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us pray. Eternal God, faithful in your tender compassion, you give us hope for our life here and hereafter through the victory of your only Son. When we share his cup of salvation, revive in us the joy of this everlasting gift. We ask this in his name. Amen. O God, the giver of eternal life, we give you thanks and praise for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all your saints. Grant to us and to all who have died in the hope of the resurrection a share in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ and fullness of joy in the fellowship of all your saints. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the appointed collect. O God, your son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may see him in his redeeming work, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we close with the Lord's Prayer and a dismissal. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look upon us with favor and grant us peace. Amen.